And now, another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. When a man stops by at your place of business for a little collection, it's usually because somebody is collecting from him. Well, let's find out who that collector is as we bring you Lieutenant Langer's Last Collection by George Bamber in just one minute. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips is not polite to smack your lips. But you can't help it with Fritos, corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips. Next time you want something to munch on, try Fritos. They're so crisp. So tasty, so good. You'll see right away why we say Fritos are the corn chips made to munch. Fill a big bowl with Fritos next time you settle down to watch your favorite TV program. Boy, there's contentment in every munch. Munch, 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 munch Fritos, corn chips. Fritos are golden chips of corn as nutritious as they are delicious. So full of good, crisp flavor. Such good for you nourishment that the ideal snack for grown-ups and children alike. Get a bag of Fritos corn chips today and munch a bunch. F-R-I-T-O-S, Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. Lieutenant Langer. It's been a long time. I thought you had been transferred. I was, Bruno. I was. Then what are you doing in town? Let's just say I came to look up an old friend. About what? A personal matter. Maybe we better go in the back. Very well. Looks like you're doing all right for yourself now. Oh, I repair a few watches, make a few dollars on small loans. Now, what is it you wanted to see me about? You know, Bruno, life in the sticks is bad. It's easy to get in a jam out there. Come to the point. What is it you want? Two thousand dollars. What? You heard me. I won't pay. Oh, yes, you will. Bruno, you've already got two previous convictions at receiver of stolen goods. One more to send you away for a long, long time. Maybe until the day you die. But I have done nothing. I've been straight since the time you let me go. I paid you $1,000 then, and you said you would forget about it. You would give me another chance. That was then. This is now. But I'm clean. You, 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 you've got no evidence. Bruno, how hard do you think it would be to plant some gems on a convicted fence? Then I will fight. I will tell the judge everything I know about the bribe I paid. Then it would be your word against mine. A cop. Against a convicted diamond cutter. But from what I heard, your your word isn't so good anymore. That's why you were transferred from special duty downtown. All they had were suspicions. They couldn't prove anything on me. Maybe I'm just the man they're looking for. Listen, you... Please, Langer, for myself, I'm not asking. I, I, I'm an old man. Money does not mean much to me anymore. It's my daughter. She writes me from California. She wants me to come and live with them. I, I thought if I took a little nest egg... Maybe I could give it to them, maybe help to set them up in a little business. Come on. Please. I've worked so hard to go straight. It hasn't been easy. Give me this chance. Listen, you think you've got troubles. The kind of trouble I'm in, if I don't have $2,000 by tomorrow morning, I might just as well forget about breathing. Now get me the money. All right, all right. Only once a man is paid, you, you should leave him alone. Here you are. One, two, three, four, five, one thousand, seven, eight, nine, two thousand dollars. And two hundred dollars traveling expenses. I won't pay. Three hundred for being reluctant. Robbery. Now look, you little runt. Help. You keep playing hard to get and I'll tear you apart with my bare hands. Please. Now, are you going to give me the money and keep your mouth shut, or do I have to get rough? Yes, yes. yes. Just, just put me down. Huh? What's the matter with you? Nothing. Get the money. All right. All right. Here. 
Here you are. One, two, three. Now leave me alone. Uh, something, something is the matter with you. What is it? It's nothing. I'll be all right. Maybe you better sit down a minute. Sit, 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 sit till, you, till you feel better. What, and have you robbed me if I pass out? I'd rather take my chances on the street. Out. Out of my store, Leech. Worse than a leech. I tried to help you and you called me names. Is there nothing left inside you? No, no, no decency, nothing. This is a tough world, Bruno. Dog eat dog. Out of my store, dog. Worse than a dog. You with your hundred dollar coat and brown sage shoes. Out of my store. My only wish is that you should drop dead right before my eyes. Out! With pleasure, you little crook. Bad. I can tell it's bad this time. I'll be all right. Just take it easy. Just take it slow and easy. It's happened before. And I was all right. Just keep walking. Take it slow till I get to the avenue to call a cab. It's getting worse. Feels like a hot bar inside my chest. Red hot. No. I've got to stop and rest. Lean up against something. left arm feels numb. Now, now my leg. I can't move them. They're dead. I can't move at all. I can't walk. Help. Somebody help. Please. Well, of course, I knew full well what she was referring to, but do you think she'd admit it? Please, help. What? Please help me. I'm a very sick man. Paul, don't go near him. Can't you see he's drunk? Please. Look at him. He can hardly talk. He's so drunk. Sick. Heart. Don't let him touch you. He's falling. <laughs> falling down drunk. It's disgusting. You'd think the police would do something about this neighborhood. It's getting so I hate to walk through it anymore. Nothing but drunks and juvenile delinquents. Come on, Paul. Just let him lie there till he's sober. In just a moment, we will return for the second act of... Suspense. Welcome, recording star Mel Torme. It's terrible trying to sing with a bad cold. So I always take four-way cold tablets to relieve cold miseries fast. Good idea. Tests of all the leading cold tablets proved four-way fastest acting. Four-way starts in minutes to relieve muscular pains, headache, reduce fever, calm, upset stomach, also overcomes irregularity. When you catch cold, try my way. Take four-way cold tablets. The fast way to relieve cold distress and feel better quickly. Four-way, only 29 cents. Our program will continue in a moment after a word about another fine product of Grove Laboratories. To get rid of embarrassing dandruff in three minutes, change to Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo. Three minutes with Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep unsightly dandruff away forever. Apply Fitch before wetting hair, rub in one minute. Add water, lather one minute, then rinse one minute. Every trace of dandruff goes down the drain. Three minutes with Fitch and embarrassing dandruff's gone. At the same time... Fitch can brighten hair up to 35%. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today. You all right, mister? No. My heart. I'm sick. What's the matter with him, Chino? I don't know. I think he's got a heart attack or something. Help me. Please help me. Well, what are you going to do, Chino? I don't know. 
Please. Look, he's passed out. Yeah. Oh, come on. Give me a hand. Oh, what you gonna do, Chino? Oh, what you think we're gonna do? We're gonna help him. Oh, come on. Lift. All right. We'll take him downstairs to the clubhouse where he can lay down. Oh, man, he's heavy. Yeah. He must yeah. weigh a ton. Look, uh, get your get your head under his arm and lift. Yeah, all right. Come on. Watch these stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy now. Don't let him slip. I got him. All right. All right, now hold the door. Yeah, I got all my foot. Yeah. 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 All right. Here. He's... All right, let him down on this couch. Hey, watch his head. Yeah. Boy, he weighs more like a whale than a man. Yeah. Whew. Well, what you gonna do now, Chino? Call a cop? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, get his wallet so I can see who he is. Yeah, okay. Hey, look at all this money. Give it here. How much do you think there is? I don't know. Must be two grand at least. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, yeah, $2,300. Well, what are you going to do now, Chino? I don't know. Just think of what we could do with two grand. Yeah. Hey, we could own this town. Yeah. Yeah, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. Let me think. Um, what's it say inside his wallet? It... Nuts. Well, what's it say? He's a cop. How do you like that for all the love? Well, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, for crying out loud, will you let me think? Boy, I hate to give back all that money. Yeah, we could maybe buy a car or... I got it. What? We're going to get rid of it. Now, look, Chino. I ain't going to get mixed up in nothing, especially with no cop. This ain't murder. Listen. Now, we strip his clothes and dress him in any old junk we find in the trash. Make him look like a bum. Then let somebody else pick him up. Yeah, but this is a cop. I ain't going to have nothing to do with no cop. They'll recognize him. Ah, they won't. You see in his wallet? What? Yeah, look. It says he's attached to the downtown someplace. Now, that's the beauty of the thing. When the cops in this precinct pick him up, they'll think he's just a wino. Maybe he froze to death during the night. Yeah, but Chino, that's murder. No, it ain't. We picked him off the street now, didn't we? We, we, we got a right to put him back there. We, we ain't doing nothing for him or against him. Besides, look at him. He's half dead. me out here to die, like a bum lying in the alley. I don't want to die that way. Please don't let me die that way. <laughs> Look at the snow coming down. Soft, white flakes melt against my face. So beautiful. I don't want to die. There's a street down there. I can see it. If I could only get to the street, somebody would see me. Nobody will see me here. Maybe, maybe if I try to crawl. Uh, uh. No. No, no, I can't do that. If I try to do any more, it'll kill me for sure. I can feel it in my chest. The whole area, hot and numb. If I try any more, I'll tear it wide open. What was that? A bomb going through the trash. Help. Ah, Please ah, help. I said. Help. Ah, oh, well, well, what's the matter, Mike? Huh? Help. Oh, you had a little too much, huh? You got down and you couldn't get up. <laughs> Please help me. I'm sick. Yeah, why? You're sick? Oh, I know all about that, Mike. Sick? Now, you talk about sick. Oh, I remember one time. Help. Please, too. Help. Oh, wow. All right, all right, all right. I always... Glad to help her, pal. You do. Oh, you're heavy, buddy. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do much more and lift you up against this wall. You're too heavy. There. Oh. Uh, ain't much, but at least your face is out of the gutter. <laughs> you got a better slam in the world now. 
Yeah, I know, I know. It don't look like much, does it, the world? <laughs> but that's all we have. We gotta make the best of it. Yes, <laughs> sir. Say, make the best. Yes, say, you wouldn't happen to have a little drop of what ails you, would you? Just to taste it. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are the most ungrateful Jack I ever did see. A man goes to all the trouble of pulling you out of the gutter and you won't even share the wealth, which I see a bottle sticking out of your coat pocket plain as day. Oh, I'm sick. Please help. Thank you. All right, all right. God helps those who help themselves, as they tell us down at the... Uh, mission. Please, please, I'm very sick. Oh, 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 oh that's, that's good. Just what I needed. Something to fight the cold. Hey, you, uh, how, how about you? Do you care for us not? No. <laughs> doctor, please, please get a doctor. You don't need no doctor. What you need is a drink, you know. Me, you sure you... Don't have any more on you? Oh, please. Please, doctor. Now, wait a minute. Don't you go passing out on me. You... Ah. Uh, oh. Well, maybe I just better have a look. You've been known to hold out on your friends before. <laughs> you... Yeah. Nothing. Not a dime. Not even a cigarette butt, even. Well, if we had something we could pawn, we could get some more with that, eh? But you don't even have a cigarette lighter on you. Nothing. Not a thing. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 those shoes. Those are mighty fine-looking shoes you got there, buddy. I know a place where I could get 50 cents for these shoes. Maybe even a buck. What are you doing where are you going? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be right back. I got a bottle for these. I'll be right back. We share, share life. Please. Please come back. I'm close in here. Oh, now, come on. And I brought you a fine pair of shoes. What, what, what'll you give me for them, huh? Uh, yeah. uh, quarter. Take it or leave it. Uh, oh, yeah, get out. They're closed. Quarter? Look at, look at these. Uh, these are fine shoes. I paid $30 for them new. You never well, bought I a pair of shoes in your... Where did you get these brown suede shoes? Where did I... What, what do you mean? Where did I get them? They're mine. They're my... Come on, now. Shoes. I won't turn you in. You you, you just tell me where you got them. Yeah, well... You, well what, what's it worth to you? Fifty cents for the shoes. Uh, Fifty cents for the shoes and a dollar for the information. A uh, dollar for both. I, I promise you won't turn me in. I promise. Well, I, uh, I took him off a guy in the alley out back. Quick, here's your money. Now show me where. Oh, well, so we meet again, Lieutenant Langer. Only this time you're... You aren't so full of orders and throwing your weight around, huh? Oh. My only regret is that you don't still have the money you borrowed from me. Help. Please help me. I should help you after what you've done to me. <laughs> That's very funny, Lieutenant Langer. Very funny. Bruno, please, please help me. I've seen you start out, Langer, from an honest rookie to a cop on the take. And then you moved downtown, and God knows how many people's lives you made miserable while you were assigned down there. Not that I have lived such a pure life myself, but at least I have been trying to go straight. Trying to change. Please, Bruno. Please, one more chance. One more chance for what? To come back and hold me up any time you want to? What do you think I am, stupid? Uh... <sighs> Better I should see you die by inches than help you by raising my little finger... For all the good you have done me or anybody else. What have you got there, Bruno? Huh? Oh, a 
officer there is, and I... I didn't hear you come up. I saw you from the light of your back door. I thought maybe you were having some trouble. No. No trouble. But I'm afraid this man is, though. That wino? <laughs> well, his trouble can't be cured. Just leave him there to sleep it off. He'll be all right by morning. I... I think you had better call an ambulance. He looks like a very sick man. He looks like a pretty drunk man, Bruno. Go on home. He'll be all right. Why knows there more trouble than they're worth? I don't think he's drunk. I think he is sick. He's drunk, I tell you. You can see by just looking at him. Please, Lerton. This man is sick. He has had a heart attack. If something isn't done quickly, he will die. How do you know that? He's a friend of mine. I hear you're leaving us soon, Bruno. Yes, tomorrow I take the plane for California. I'm getting out of the business for good. Well, I want to wish you luck. And I want you to know I'll miss having you in the neighborhood. Been a big help to me around the neighborhood. Well, if it's only doing something, if nobody did nothing, what would the world be? I want to thank you just the same. That's all right. You've been a good rookie, Eden. Uh, I know you'll make a fine policeman. And uh, I want to tell you how sorry I was about that friend of yours. I'm sorry we couldn't get him to the hospital in time. That's all right, Officer Eden. Maybe things worked out for the best. After all. Suspense. You've been listening to Lieutenant Langer's last collection, written for Suspense by George Bamber. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of Suspense. Out of tune? If you're irregular due to lack of bulk, help yourself get back in tune with Kellogg's All Brand. You'll feel right on pitch when Kellogg's All Brand gentles away irregularity the natural way. So fight constipation as millions do with good tasting Kellogg's All Brand. A double L hyphen B R A N. Kellogg's All Brand. And for all you all-brand users who are also flower fanciers, here's good news. Kellogg's All-Brand again is offering beautiful rose bushes, including formerly patented gold medal winners, in a choice of five colors. For each rose bush, just mail 50 cents with a box top from a package of Kellogg's All-Brand to Queen of the Garden Roses, Box 974, Tyler, Texas. See the back of specially marked packages of Kellogg's All-Brand today for full details. Heard in tonight's story were Frank Milan as Lieutenant Langer and Murray Forbes as Bruno. Others in our cast were Frank Thomas, Jr., Ginger Jones, Jack Grimes, Ian Martin, and William Mason. Listen again next week when we return with Sleeping is for Children by Eugene Francis and Ralph Bell. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. On CBS Radio.